In the heavily populated state of Rajasthan, scarcely 176 kilometers from Delhi and 50 from Agra and its famous Taj Mahal, a small national park covering only 29 square kilometers is the destination of thousands of birds arriving from different countries of the eastern Palearctic region. In the midst of a region replete with tourist attractions of historical and cultural interest, the Geoladeo Ghana National Park goes unnoticed, and yet it is an oasis for many bird species in danger of becoming extinct. Despite its reduced size, Geoladeo Ghana is one of the most important wetlands on the Asian continent, a goal for ornithologists from all over the world to see some of the rarest and scarcest birds on Earth. What began as a hunting ground for aquatic birds has today become a bird sanctuary as a result of hunting interest and the enterprising initiative of a former Maharaja. Sunrise in Keoladeo. This year the monsoon rains have been very scarce and in the month of March the breeding colonies of painted storks are empty. Everything at the small national park revolves around water. A slight disturbance in the annual rainfall cycle can alter the population of different species of aquatic birds. Their egg laying or the time they spend in the park before migrating. But water is also the greatness of Keoladeo because although its level varies depending on rainfall, there is a year-round minimum surplus which is used by half a million birds pertaining to more than 350 different species. A third of the birds at Kiroladeo are migratory and spend the winter here before returning to their breeding grounds which may be as far away as Siberia or Central Asia, while 120 other species come to the park to lay their eggs. Some pause here in their long migratory trip to get their strength back and many others are residents. So all year long, Kiroladeo Ghana is an ornithological show. The aquatic ecosystem is very rich in flora and fauna which nourish the majority of the park's birds. The lakes contain a wide variety of algae and aquatic plants and there are more than 20 fish species. There are frogs, insects, mollusks and plankton, a nutritional combination for the birds which consume an incredible amount of food each day. For example, in the 30 or 40 days during which painted storks hatch their eggs, it is estimated that they consume at least 1,200 tons of food, and that's only the painted storks. Many of the species at Keoladeo, or Barapur as the park is also known, have specialized feeding habits which makes it possible for so many different species to cohabit in such a small area. Jacanas, like this pheasant-tailed one, have become specialized in walking on the vegetation, floating on the water, to find the larvae and mollusks they feed on between the reed beds, water lilies and giant reeds. Eight different types of heron and egret can be found in the national park. 
All of them have become specialized in fishing using their bills as harpoons. Their long wading legs help them to move through the shallow lakes. Their camouflage and patience do the rest. The imperial heron did not have luck this time. Among birds of the Ardeidae family, which includes heron, egrets, nocturnal and noble herons and bitterns, patience is an indispensable factor for obtaining food. Armed with sharp vision and strong pointy bills, their fishing methods are based on waiting for the fish to get within the range of their bills and then to hurl their necks forward, harpooning their prey. <laughs> <laughs> 